Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Bye, teacher. Good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. Okay, people, we are going to start tonight. Okay, I'm going to take the sec the first attendance tonight. So please, as since a four requires, turn on your cameras. And I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Okay, let's go. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Okay. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Carolina Jamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Perfect. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Claudia Yvette Samayoa. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Yeah. Irma de Los Ángeles <clears throat> Flores <clears throat> Present teacher Ok Ah, the volume here No, it's better Okay, um, Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Okay, good evening. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, by the way, Linda, tonight's personal session is with you, okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Sí. 
Olga Marleni Gómez. Zenaida América Domínguez. Present teacher. Okay, good evening. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. No. Silvio Enrique Cortés. Present. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Good. And Carla Veronica Suria. Okay. Teacher. Present. Teacher. Okay, welcome. Eh, hay mala señal, teacher. Está lloviendo. Oh. Yo también, teacher. Present. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Set Mara. Más Silvia, Suleima, Okidoki. Ok. Muy bien. Well, tonight we are going to continue with the present perfect. We are going to have a review and let's practice a little bit, ok? Get familiar with present perfect tense. Okay, just to remind you the form of the present perfect is this. Hold on, let me. Okay, if you remember, the structure for the present perfect is. Subject plus have or has. Um, first of the subject, then have or has, and then the verb in the past participle form. Okay, so that is the basic structure. I resume acá. Subject. Dependiendo del subject, vamos a usar have or has, okay? Remember we use have with I, you, we, sh uh, they, okay? I have, you have, we have, they have. And then the As participle form of the verb. The past participle form of the verb. So this is the structure for uh, present perfect. And we use the present perfect to talk about actions that, that began in the past and continue in the present or actions that happen on an undetermined time. Acciones que pasaron en un tiempo indeterminado, en el pasado, o eh, un tiempo indefinido, o acciones que comenzaron en el pasado y llegan y afectan nuestro presente. Revisamos eso. 
a car con el positive, negative, and questions. For example, I have worked there. He has worked there. We have worked there. See, subject, have, the verb in the past participle, worked. The same with he, and the correct form of have, which is has, worked. Then uh, the negative form, I have not. He has not. We have not. Solo agregamos el not. I have not worked. And the question, have you worked there? Y esto, las, las respuestas cortas a esto es, por ejemplo, have you worked there? Yes, I have. Punto. Or a negative answer, como acá, has he worked there? Para decir no, he hasn't. Okay, have we worked there? Yes, we have, por ejemplo. Esta es la respuesta corta a las preguntas de sí o no en present perfect. Ok. Bueno, esto es un review de lo que vimos el viernes y de lo que ya se vio en módulos anteriores también about the present perfect. Any question here? Yo, teacher. Dime. Es primera vez que vemos este tema. No lo habíamos visto antes. Ah, ok. Any question? Teacher, ¿por qué el I lleva have y no has? Porque el has es para la tercera persona singular. Que sola es he, she, it. De ahí todos los demás, have. ¿Verdad? Acuérdense que es el verbo, es el verbo have y funciona igual, ¿no? El have con I es have, con you es have, con he, she o it, have se convierte en has. Solo con he, she, it. Cambia have a has. Y les dije que en estas oraciones el have no significa tener. El have es el auxiliar. Acá sí, dice sí, que sí. se usa en el A simple ver. present, ¿verdad? Eh, acá donde dice que se usa en el simple present. Eh, eh, más que el simple present, yo diría, va en su forma básica el verbo, ¿verdad? Have o has. Eh, o, o no, usémoslo como simple present, porque con I es have, pero con he es has. ¿No? Y este have aquí nos funciona nada más como auxiliar para decir a, haber, es el verbo haber. I have worked there, yo he trabajado ahí. I have not worked there, yo no he trabajado ahí. Have you worked there, has tú trabajado ahí? Entonces, el have es el haber. Any question? 
Pongámoslo en práctica, ¿no? Usémoslo para ver. Ahí nos va a ayudar más a comprenderlo. Veamos el the next exercise. Voy a salirme para poder escribir. Vaya. Need to complete these sentences y completar estas oraciones usando el present perfect. Y para usar el present perfect tienen que agregar el auxiliar que sería have o has más el verbo que está entre paréntesis en el participio pasado. Por ahí les compartí una lista de verbos corta, ¿verdad? En el WhatsApp para que puedan ver los verbos en participio pasado. Por ejemplo, la sí. primera es el verbo study. El past participle for study es studied. Y vamos a usar el auxiliar have. I have studied French. Yo he estudiado francés. ¿Ok? ¿Alguien quiere llenar el completar la número dos? O decirme cómo iría la número dos. Mi teacher. Adelante, de, permítame buscar aquí. Vamos a poner el, el texto. Ok. She, she has Ajá. eaten. Eaten. Correct. She has eaten octopus. Octopus. You know what is octopus? Mm. I yes. don't know. No, pulpo. Yes. Ah, A pulpo. Ah. Have you eaten octopus? No, I haven't. Oh, yes, I have. Pero aquí la oración es con she. She has eaten octopus. Ella ha comido pulpo. Number three, a ver, alguien más. Mi teacher. Number three, teacher. Ok, pero ya. ya. A They ver. have eh, been. I have. <ríe> a ver, Carlos, y luego no sé quién está hablando después de Carlos. Irma. Sería la siguiente, vaya, después de Carlos, Irma en la cuatro. Ok, okay. Carlos, number three. They, They have been. To Scotland. Yes, they have been. ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué usamos have? Porque el pronombre es they. Y el past participle de be, been. Correcto. A ver, Irma, number four. We have. Have. Ajá. Ok. Yeah. La escritura del verbo no cambia la pronunciación sí. Teacher. Hola. En el listado que usted nos mandó. Sí. En el pasado, en el verbo en el pasado, este read eh, tiene una pleca y dice red. ¿Por qué? ¿En qué ocasiones puede ser red? Es como pleca red. Ajá, porque en el verbo sale en pasado así, igual que está red. Ajá. Pero tiene una plequita y dice a la par red también, como red de rojo. Se hace a la pronunciación lo que le están poniendo ahí. Ah, pero porque solo son algunos. Que... En el pasado se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia red. Okay. Y el past, past participle también se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia mm -hmm. Red. Ok. Ok. We have read that book. Muy bien. Number five. Who wants to give me number five? Ok. He. So, he have or he has. 
He has. He has. What is the what is the past participle of live? Lived. Okay. He has lived here for three years. Lived. Lived. Este es un verbo regular. Ya les dije, no me digan el. Ah, no. Ya les pasé ahí la, sí. las pronunciaciones de los verbos regulares. Ok. Have no. Ok, you have or has? Have. Have. Ah, no. Have. New. No. No. How do you spell no? A-N-O-W-N. Correct. You have known David for 10 years. Perfect. Number seven. Let's... We. We have or we has? How? Uh, ah, past participle of be. 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 Okay. Number eight. Have or has? Has. Have. Have. How? 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 participle of lose? Lost. 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 How do you spell it? L-O-S-T. Yes. Bájenle a la tele. Okay. Number nine. He have or he has? Has. He has. Past participle of drink? Uh, drunk. Drunk. Okay, drunk. how do you spell it? D-R-U-N-K. Correct. He has drunk too much coffee number 10 they have or has have ah, ah. ah. past participle of miss misses como Missed, missed. Ah, no quiero escuchar ese L. <laughs> yeah, they have missed the train. They have missed the train. Okay, let's practice. Repeat after me, please. I have studied French. I have, I have studied, studied, studied French. French. She has eaten octopus. She, she has, has eaten, eaten, had to octopus. eaten octopus. They have been to Scotland. They have been, they have been to Scotland. We have read that book. We, we have, have read, read that book. That book. That book. He has lived here for three years. He has he lived. Has, he has lived here for, three here years. for three years. You have known David for ten years. You have, he have been here for ten years. years. We have been here for two weeks. We, we have been here for two weeks. I have lost my keys. 
I have lost, I have lost, lost my teeth. He has drunk too much coffee. He has, he has drunk too much, coffee. too much coffee. They have missed the train. They have, they have missed the train. Missed the train. The train. Okay. Any question, people? No questions? No question. Okay. No question, Perfect. You see, it's not difficult. It's important to know the past participle, okay? Well, let's continue with another exercise. Oops, no, I don't need that arrow anymore. Uh, I need the next slide. Okay, now you are going to write the negative form of these sentences. Negative sentences, okay? With the present perfect, complete negative sentences. I'm going to share this in WhatsApp and I want you to do it, okay? By your sentences. Uh-huh, where is crying? No oh, problem, it's terrible. Okay, there it is in WhatsApp already. Yes. See your chat here. Aha. Uy, cuantos oyentes. Vaya, pues. Okay, let me form the groups. Uh, okay. Perfect. Go to your groups. Complete the negative sentences and practice the pronunciation and see you in 10 minutes.
she and has the, not. In the past, Olive left. Mm, wait a second. She has not left her yeah. phone in a text. Spelling, please. El visiting con el ng, pero en pasado es, es visit con la d, ed. Ed es visit. Sí, visit. visit. Entonces sería, sería, ajá, sería they, they have, no, they have no visit. No sé, no puedo pronunciar todavía la d al final. I have not talked to him for three months. You have not studied French for 10 years. They have not been in London for six months. He has not hurt his leg. She has not lived her phone. Mande. Entonces ese estudio. Mande probando de eso. <laughs> Pablo Escobar me mandó un poquito. Yo guarde. Así como está Miguel, hay que tener un montón ahí. Ajá. <risa> Alguna caleta de tener. <risa> Ay, no la bulla, man. French for 10 years. Podría. Ed. Talk es un regular verb. Entonces solo sería... Sí, solo el mismo. Permitan, pero quiero asegurarme. Debe estar. Hello. Hello, welcome back. Teacher, no faltaron on three. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're going to do that right now. Okay, let's see. Number one. Oh, uh, let me ask to Carla Veronica. Can you read number one, Carla Veronica. 
Carla, ok, Verónica. teacher, ok. Mm -hmm. uh, we have not been to Paris. Yes, perfect. Number two, Karina Melissa. Karina Melissa, one. Karina Melissa, two. Karina Melissa. Three. Hola, oh, okay. Number two, please. She saw the Lord of Rings. Oh. Oh. Hilda Xiomara. Number two. Hilda Xiomara, one. Hilda Xiomara. I'm two. here, teacher. I'm here. I'm here. The number two? Two or three? Two. Two. She has not seen the Lord. Okay. Yes. She Thanks, has teacher. not seen. Me neither. Yo tampoco. Number, thank you, Xiomara. Number three, Welcome, let me teacher. ask to, uh, uh, um, Miguel Angel, number three. Number three, uh, he has not met my mother. Ah, he has not. How do you spell the past participle of meet? M A T. M E T. Okay. E T. Yeah. My mother. Okay, good. The pronunciation is met. 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 Yes. Right. Right. Very good. Thank you, Miguel. Now let me go with uh, um, Senaida. Number four, Senaida. They have not visit a San Paulo. Okay. Um, visit or visited? Visit. Visited. Visited. Ir. Ir. Yeah, visited. Okay, very good. Number five, let's continue with um, Olga. Mande, teacher. Number five, please. Okay, momentito. Okay. The number five, I haven't called to him for three months. Okay, perfect. Very good. She's using the contraction, haven't. Perfect. Number six, Caroline. Okay, teacher. You have not studied French for 10 years. Yes. Perfect. Number seven, Silvio. They have not been in London for six months. Correct. Number eight, Alejandra. Teacher, me falta number eight, pero ahorita se la hago. Eso. Eh, veamos. Ah, dame un segundo. Ya se la hago, Sería. The past participle is hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Okay. Uh, 
Vanessa. Sería, eh, sería, teacher, um, she, she has a not living here from in a taxi. Okay, give me number nine. She has not living. Okay, what is the past participle of leave? Oh, leave, leave. Left. No, left. Left. Okay, yes. left. Left. Igual okay, que se escribe izquierda. Okay. Igual, left. Okay, she left. has not left. Okay, but number eight, Carlos. He has not hurt his left. Yes. And number ten, let me go with Sylvia. We have not lost our tickets. Correct. Any question, people, with this? No? No, no teacher. Okay, let's practice the pronunciation. Okay, number one. We have not been to Paris. We, we have not, we been, have to not Paris. been to Paris. Paris. She has not seen the Lord of the Rings. She has she not, not seen, seen the Lord, the Lord of, of the Rings. The ring. She has not met my mother. She has not met my mother. They have not visited St. Paul's. They have they not visited St. Paul's. Saint Paul's. I have not talked to him for three months. I have I not have called him for three, him for three months. You have not studied French for ten years. You have, you have not, not studied, studied French long for, for six for ten, for ten years. They have not been in London for six months. There they have not, have not been, been in London for six months. ¿Quién está cocinando? Está haciendo ensalada por ahí, lo que están picando. Salpicón. Salpicón. <laughs> ok, number eight. He has not hurt his leg. He has not hurt his leg. Nine. She has not left her phone in a taxi. Yeah, she has not left, left, left her phone in a taxi. In a taxi. And ten. We have not lost our tickets. We have. We have not lost, 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 lost tickets. tickets. Okay. Just let me share. Some hoy, hoy ya está picando algo más chiquito. <laughs> Let me show la you. La hierba buena, teacher, la hierba buena. <laughs> hey, pero invita. Me, teacher. I have. <laughs> are you cooking? Are you, are you cooking your lunch for tomorrow? Okay. Let me show you the contractions for this. I have, I've. No sé si se lo mostré el viernes, pero bueno. You have. No, la de Woodless hablamos otro día. You've. The contractions for this. Okay. He has. Is. She has. She is. It has its. We have weave. They have they've. Okay. Teacher, ¿y cómo sé que no es he is ni she is? Bueno, por el contexto, ¿verdad? De la frase. 
Okay, entonces, I have, I've. You have, you've. He has, his. She has, she's. It has, it's. We have, we've. They have, they've. Okay. Bien. Now, let's practice a little bit more about this. Any question with this? No. Perfect. Let me show you another exercise. I want you to do it here. Okay. Creo que nos quedamos con este. Bueno, déjame compartir pantalla. No recuerdo si nos quedamos con este el viernes. Sí, este les dejé el viernes al final, ¿verdad? Yo creo que ahora ya lo van a poder hacer más fácilmente. You remember this exercise? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. <coughs> so I will send you again to your groups. I want you to finish this. And then we are going to come back to check your work, okay? I will share it again in WhatsApp. Para que lo tengan ahí al fresquito. Se los comparto de nuevo. There you have, and let's go back to your groups. Okay, go back to your groups and complete translate from Spanish to English. See you in a moment.
Twitter. Twitter. And you? I have never gone to a room and you. I have never. not drawn. I have I never gone. I have not drunk. Drunk. It, drunk. It's for coffee today. Drunk. How pronounced? The number drunk. one. Drunk. The number one? Drunk. drunk. I have not drunk, drunk coffee today. Drunk. I have not drunk. Drunk coffee today. She has she has written it in English, mm -hmm. but it's not in English. We have not worked in three days. Just writing, 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 yeah, right? Right. 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 You could okay the last of writing and writing. Writing. To the office today. The office at the office. At the office to get. Today. You has eaten it much this night. You have. It's at the today office or office today. ¿Cómo será? Eh, creo que es tu office office. To, creo que sería así. Teacher. Teacher. Hello. Teacher, tenemos una cuestión. Ver. En el number five, eh, Irmita tiene. Bueno, tenemos las dos una duda existencial que no sabemos si está correcto, si es to the office, office today o es, no, ¿verdad? O, no creo que sea today office. A ver, a ver. Repeat. Please. El jefe no ha venido a la oficina hoy. Uh -huh. Entonces, dígalo, Sermita, ¿cómo lo es? Nosotros pusimos de voz has not come to the office today. Lo que, lo, la duda es si es office today o today office. Sí. No. Pero office. creo que bien así, ¿verdad? Yeah, office today. Office today. Ah, ok, okay. teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. Number six, six. Andrea. Tú has comido mucho esta noche. Teacher, finish. Okay, perfect. See you in a moment. Okay. Okay. Teacher, la pronunciación de, de la segunda es written o written? Oh, written. 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 Okay. She has written.
Okay, welcome back. Let's check your work. Security. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's see. Number one, yo no he tomado café hoy. Please write it in the chat. Write your answer in the chat. Hi. Ah, in the chat. Yes, in the chat, please. Okay. Okay, Carlos, good. Today. Yeah. I have a new job coffee. So. Cofre. Who drinks cofre? <laughs> coffee. Double F. Coffee. Coffee today. Uh -huh. Token. Token coffee. <laughs> Oh, no token. Okay, very good. I have not drunk coffee today. Now, number two. Ella ha escrito la carta en español, no en inglés. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Good. E. Uh, written mm -hmm. the letter, muy bien, the mm -hmm. letter. Mm -hmm. Uy, se equivocaron en el traductor. <laughs> no sean así, mm -hmm. no tengo usando el traductor que en alemán lo pusieron. <laughs> no, estamos en la number two. Pasen a la tres todavía. <laughs> okay. She has written the letter in Spanish, not in English. Good. Number three. Nosotros no hemos trabajado en tres días. Okay. No, Xiomara, me puso was en vez de has. We have not worked in three days. Yes, we have not worked in, no, un, in. Ya con ese corrector. We haven't worked. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, number four. Ustedes han sido nuestros okay. mejores amigos. No, Caroline. No es they. Okay. Okay. Very good, people. Ah, muy bien, Samara. No, Irma, no es de. Number four, you, you have been our best friends. Faltó our Caroline. Okay, muy bien. You have been our no es negative, no es negative. Number five. Let's move on to number five. El jefe no ha venido a la oficina hoy. The boss has not. 
has not arrived. Uh, it's better come. It's better come, but arrive. Porque arrive da la idea que viene, pero no ha llegado. Entonces no ha venido. Boss has not come. Okay, very good. To to the office, to the office. Okay, number six. Tú has comido mucho esta noche. Ay, que galán fuera. Tú has comido mucho. Well, you have eaten a lot tonight. You have eaten too much. Very much. A lot. You has? No, you has no. Teacher, se escucha mucha interferencia. Si hay algún ventilador por ahí. Que no es el mío. Vamos a ver. Ahí está. Gracias. You have eaten a lot too much. Bueno. And number seven, you, yo nunca he ido a Europa. ¿Y tú? Okay, very good. I have not never... Uh, uh, I have never gone. This is the Lord. I have never gone. To Europe and you? Yeah, the order is where I have never. Perfect. I have never gone to Europe and you? Okay. Very good. Now, just let me tell you something quickly. Bien, solo déjenme mostrarle en la que decía he comido mucho. Algunos usaron a lot. Para ese mucho está bien. I have eaten a lot tonight or this night or tonight. Oh, el too much. Too, pero no es too, no, no así, no con una O, sino too much. ¿Verdad? Y por ahí vi a alguien que puso very much. Bueno, depende. Eh, solo déjenme mostrarles la diferencia rápidamente, ¿no? Entre to y very. ¿Verdad? Porque no, se, no las usamos, no se usan indistintamente cuando se refieren a, a mucho, a verdad de algo. Por ejemplo, si yo voy a usar to, lo uso en un sentido eh, que negativo, es decir, mucho, pero demasiado. No es algo de mucho que haya sido bueno, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, si yo digo a... Uh, 
This coffee is too hot. So, significa que a mí mm -mm, no me gusta así. ¿Verdad? This coffee is too hot. O sea, a mí no me gusta. Si está demasiado, pudiéramos decir. Caliente. Diferente es si yo digo, this coffee is very hot. Ah, eso significa que a mí sí me gusta. Me gusta muy caliente. ¿Verdad? Eh, nada más mostrarles esa pequeña diferencia entre to y very. ¿Verdad? Cuando yo uso el to para decir que algo está de, muy, por ejemplo, en este caso, cuando dijimos, I have eaten too much. So, me pasé. Mucho. Demasiado. Ese to es un énfasis negativo, ¿verdad? Algo que me demasiado comí. Ahora, I have eaten very much. So, mucho también, pero en un sentido positivo, o sea, excelente, he comido mucho. Ok, entonces solo expresarles esa diferencia entre el to y el very. Cuando los estamos usando, hablando de, de alguna característica, tienen esa connotación distinta. Ok. Now, another practice. So, queremos dejar bien fijado esto del present perfect. Entonces, let me show you another activity to practice the present perfect. Here it is. Where is it? Let me see. Here, no. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, this one. So these are questions and you're going to practice, okay? Responding these questions. De nuevo, como en el juego, vamos a ir avanzando, ¿no? Observe the questions. Have you ever left a shop without paying? Have you bought yourself anything expensive this month? Have you ever lied? Have you ever lied about your age? Cuando usamos el have you ever en una pregunta, have you ever, have you ever, es decir, alguna vez. Have you ever lied about your age? Alguna vez has mentido acerca de tu edad. Okay, ese es el uso del ever aquí. Have you ever lied? Who have you found today? What have you eaten today? What countries have you visited? Have you ever broken a window? Have you eaten in a restaurant this week? What have you done today? To O'Neill. What is the most expensive thing you have ever bought? Uh, what cities have you visited this year? How many times have you been to England? What have you drunk today? How many times have you been in a hospital? Have you received a present this month? Have you ever skied? Have you ever lost your passport? Where have you been today? How many vac vacations have you had this year? Have you bought any clothes this month? What's the best present you've ever received? Have you had a good day today? Okay. <clears throat> Algunas son yes, no questions, como pueden ver. Y otras son de información. What, who, okay, how many. 
¿No? Entonces, eh, por ahí busquen el enlace del, del dado. O si no, ya se los vuelvo a poner. Para practicar preguntas, respuestas. Uno pregunta, los otros dos responden. El que tira el dado, mueve la ficha, pregunta y los otros responden. Por ejemplo, Have you ever shop, left a shop without paying? No, I have never left a shop without paying. O, por ejemplo, Have you ever broken a window? Ah, esta también es yes, no. Okay, what countries have you visited? What countries have you visited? Well, I have visited eh, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, etc. Okay, what countries have you visited? What have you eaten today? Uh, today I have eaten fish. Or today I have eaten a, a salad, whatever, okay? Eso es lo que quiero que hagan. Uno pregunta y los otros responden. Y así se van turnando. Is the activity clear? It's clear. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Very. Entonces, déjenme compartirles el WhatsApp, el cuadrito. And, okay. Well, it's better to say very clear. It's wow. positive. Teacher. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Where is... Well, here it is. Teacher, attending. Boy. Yeah, the second attendance. The second attendance. You're right. Okay, before you go to practice, let's take the second attendance. Alejandra Vanessa Mura. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Delmi Herrera. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Jessica Rosmery Olmedo. Please respond. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez. Present teacher. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Nelson Iván Present. Alfaro. Present teacher. Uh, Olga Marlene Gómez. Present teacher. Senaida América Domínguez. Present teacher. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Silvio Enrique Cortés. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. And Carla Verónica Suria. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, go back to your groups and practice with the questions.
es okay. mi tono, ¿no? Porque es, es 60 okay. un Two. For Hilda. What's, what is the most expensive thing you ever bought? What is the most expensive thing, thing you ever you be ever bought? Bo. Que la misma. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ah, pues otra vez me están preguntando eso. ¿Qué es lo más caro que has comprado? Mm. Eh, quiero ver. Ay. Ay, ahorita lo vamos a hacer. Vamos. Sería. <risa> a house, a house, una casa, no, pero no. tiene casa. No, <risa> tampoco. No, tampoco. <risa> ok. Bueno, sí, mi corazón. <risa> <my goodness>. <risa> ok. What? For have you ever have you ever is cute? Is what is is cute? No, it's I don't know what is cute. Oh, let me see, is cute. Esquiar, esquiar, el deporte de esquiar. I, I never. <laughs> sky. Sky. Sí. Sí. Sky. Vamos a ver. Sky. How many times have you been? How, no, have you ever? So. Vamos a lanzar sí, sí, otro. Dele. Lo voy a tirar ahora por my sister. Dele, dele, pues. Dele, dele. Traba, queda. Por. Por. Yeah. Ok, yo estaba en la 10, ¿verdad? Por yes. quién? Oh, Uy, qué leche tiene, se va a mover dos espacios. Dos espacios. Espérenme, espérenme. 16. 16 sería. Ok. 13, 14. No encuentro la 15 y la 16. Esa mm -hmm. le quedó perfecta, Caroline. Esa pregunta yes, le quedó uh -huh. cabalita. Le quedó. Sí, cabal. No sé, estoy bien. Ah, ya, ya, ya. La 16, ¿verdad? Yeah.
Okay, welcome back. Let's see, let me ask you questions, okay? We're going to practice today. Um, let me start. Okay, let me start with Carla. Yes, teacher. Hey, Carla, have you ever left a shop without paying? Um, have you ever no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Ah, are you sure? Somebody told me that you... Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> good. Uh, Carlos. Have you bought yourself anything expensive this month? Um, yes, um, how about um, memory for PC? Oh, okay, very good, great. Uh, Silvio, uh, have you ever lied about your age? Silvio? Oh, I, I have never. You have never lied about your age. Okay, how old are you? Um, 37. 37, yeah, very young, you're very young. Okay. Uh, the flower, the life. <laughs> the flower of the life. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Silvia. Ah, we must have asked Silvia the previous question. <laughs> okay, Silvia, have you ever broken a window? No, I have not. Okay, good. Next is uh, Senaida. Senaida, what countries have you visited? I have visited uh, Guatemala, Panama, Colombia, wow. Mexico, and Spain. Wow, amazing. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, no. someday I will be like you. Okay, let's continue with Olga. What have you eaten today? I'm eat eating a so oh. Chicken? Chicken soup. Chicken soup. Oh, okay. Delicious. Yes. Um uh, Nelson. Hi. Who have you found today? Who have you found today? No one. No one. No one. Oh, okay. He have money. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Could you give me a complete sentence to respond? How would you say? Yo no he llamado a nadie hoy. Nelson. I have uh, I uh, have not called no one today. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Uh let's see. Chair phone phone is a, a verb. 
Yeah, you can use it as a verb. Okay. Uh, who's next? Myra. Is Myra here? Oh, yeah, I saw the, the koala. The koala girl. Okay, Myra, have you eaten in a restaurant this week? Myra, one. Myra, two. Myra, knockout. Yes, teacher. <laughs> ah. Have you eaten in a restaurant this week? Yes, I eaten in a restaurant this week. Ah, okay. Good. Let's see, Linda. What have you done today? Tell me a couple of things. Linda, Linda. Linda one, Linda two. Sorry, teacher. Okay, what have you done the question. today? What have you done? Day. Um, I have worked. Okay. 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 That's good. Next, um, Karina. Karina, what is the most expensive thing you've ever bought? What is the most expensive thing you've ever bought? Myself. <laughs> My book. Okay, give me a complete sentence. My, okay. My most it's myself. No, I couldn't hear you. Repeat, please. Okay, my bow, expensive thing is my cell phone. Okay, okay. Mm, the most expensive thing I bought. I have bought. I have bought is my cell phone. Is my cell phone. Oh. Okay. Thank you. No Joanna. Uh, what cities have you visited this year? I have visited Sultan. <laughs> Only. Yes, a lot of noise in the background, but yes. <laughs> Where are you, Johanna? Where are you? Es que tengo problema ahorita, teacher, que se no le escucho, permítame. Yes. Where are you? Go out of the party. No, teacher. The disco. is Kairos. Is the TV? Is the TV? No, no, no. Calma, Miguel. Calma. Uh huh. Joanna, what big cities have you visited this year? This year. I have visited Usulután, San Miguel, Cabañas. That's it. But it's in Bend because I, I don't, I don't know salud. Oh yeah, I believe you. You are inventing because Cabañas is not a city. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, let's continue with Jessica. Jessica is here, Jessica? No, Jessica is not here. Uh, Irma. 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 Have you received a present this month? 
Uh, I have no received present teacher. <laughs> no, come on. Let's talk to your to your husband or your boyfriend. Come on. Okay. Next is Xiomara. How many times have you been in hospital? Ooh. I have I haven't been to the hospital. Sure? Wow. In this year. In this year. Ah, ah this year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Next, let's see Claudia Yvette. Uh, she's not here. Uh, Claudia Guadalupe, are you available? Hi, teacher. Okay, let's see. What have you, easy, easy. What have you drunk today? Please repeat. What have you drunk today? I have water. You have, I have drunk water. Drunk only water. water. Only water. Oh, <laughs> only, only, only. Only mente. Ahorita voy con el alcotex. Ahorita voy con la prueba del alcotex. A ver, okay. No. Next is, yeah, today is Monday, I believe her. Maybe yesterday. Uh, okay, Caroline, how many times have you been to England? Wow. No, teacher. <laughs> no, no, teacher. Let's I, ha <laughs> I have times uh, been to England. England, no. Uh, okay, uh, you must say, I have never been to England. Yes. Yeah. Never, 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 never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, England is too far. Maybe, I don't know, Mexico? No, have you been to Mexico? No. No? Okay. No. no. No, um, <laughs> Guatemala. Guatemala, okay. Mm, That's hasta fine. ahí, hasta ahí. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aquí solo se naida internacional. Ya se naida Spain, wow, amazing. Sí. Okay, Ana Marisol. Yes, teacher. Uh, let me go for another. How many vacations have you had this year? I I have one a year. I have had one ah, a year. Okay, I have had very good. Vacation once a year. Okay. Anna Delmi, is Anna Delmi here? Uh oh, no. And Alejandra. Hello, teacher. Uh, what is the best present you have ever received? What's the best present you've ever received? Um, um yes I I okay, I uh, I do I receive a uh, best present no sé cómo <laughs> cómo ordenarla El mejor regalo que he recibido Ah, um, okay. Uh, I no, my el, el mejor regalo que he recibido es 
my song. <laughs> okay, but say it in English. <laughs> I the best my my the best present my, my best present you ever, ever received is my song. Ah, okay. The best present I've ever received is my son. Okay. Yes. Very expensive present. Yeah. Okay. People. So this is present perfect. Okay. Uh, espero que esta práctica ya lo deje bastante fijado en sus mentes. Okay. We finish with this tonight. If you have any question. Make it tomorrow. No teacher. No teacher. Great. Okay. Last attendance. And let's go with Alejandra Vanessa. Present picture. Thank you and have a good night. Ana Delmi Herrera. You didn't show up tonight. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Angel Alexander didn't show up. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Good night. Good night, teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present. Okay. Good night. Good night. Oh, it's our Okay. Claudia Ivet Samayoa didn't show up. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Hilda Present Xiomara. teacher. Okay. Good night. See you Present tomorrow. Present teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Irma de Los Angeles Flores. Irma de Los Angeles Flores se fue. Eh, fue ni a Dios dijo. Eh, Jessica Rosemary Olmedo didn't show up. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, Linda, see you in a moment in the personal session. Teacher, uh, I don't have any questions. Don't, okay, don't worry. I have questions for you. Oh, okay. Mayra, Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay, Present. good night. Good. Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Present teacher. Good night. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present teacher. Good night. Zenaida America Dominguez. The traveler. Okay. <laughs> good night, Zenaida. Silvia night. Suleima Rodriguez. Silvia. Present teacher. Okay, hey, good night. Silvio Enrique. Present Cortez. teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Present Silvio. teacher, good night. Okay, good night. Carlos Alberto Melendez. Present. Okay, and Carla Veronica Suria. Present teacher. Okay, people, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, Linda. Okay, teacher. Is it possible for you to turn on your camera? Okay. Just for these okay. minutes. Thank you. How are you? Fine, teacher, and you? 
good, very good. Okay, I like to hear that you don't have any questions. So everything is being clear. Yes, teacher. Or nothing um, has or nothing has been understood. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, I have only questions, but I I know the, the meaning, but I I need to practice. But, uh, when can I apply perfect uh, present perfect? Present perfect. Okay, uh, every time you you use this structure, okay? ¿Qué has hecho? No, so every time you use that form, so that is present perfect, no? Um, so when, como decíamos, cuando hablamos de algo que se hizo en el pasado, ¿verdad? Y una, una manera es, no tiene un tiempo definido, no definimos cuándo exactamente sucedió ¿verdad? Eh, y ahí hay una diferencia que pues, no es momento este de, de verla pero entre lo que es el simple past y el present perfect ¿verdad? Uh -huh. o sea recuerda también son diferentes formas de hablar en, en, en pasado ¿no? Eh, porque tú puedes decir, bueno, yo visité Guatemala. Usualmente cuando usamos esa frase, estamos hablando de un tiempo específico en que eso sucedió. No, eh, yo visité Guatemala el año pasado. Cuando tú ya das un tiempo, usualmente usamos el simple past. Mm, ¿Verdad? Okay, okay. Pero cuando no definimos, por ejemplo, ¿qué países has visitado? Ah, bueno, yo he visitado Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, ¿verdad? So, es una manera diferente de hablar del, del, del pasado cuando no especificas cuándo sucedieron las cosas, ¿no? Sí, eh, eh, yo había leído como concepto de que era algo que, que había, que comenzó en el pasado y que todavía También. no termina. No necesariamente que no termina, ¿verdad? Eh, pero que está relacionado con el presente, de alguna manera. Está relacionado con el presente. Porque yo te digo, yo he visitado, quiere decir que eso ya lo hice, ¿verdad? Y podría volver. Podría a hacer. volver a hacerlo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces podría decir como, I have studied English. Yeah, I have studied English, but, uh, pero en este momento tú, uh, como te digo, no es algo que está todavía en el pasado, ni es algo que has dejado de hacer. Entonces, me, tú me lo, lo quieres, estoy haciendo. Lo estás haciendo. I am studying Sería English. Ahí. Yo estoy uh -huh. estudiando Sería inglés. Ahí, sí. Ajá. Okay. Yeah. Pero esa okay. es la forma que usamos en español. Yo he hecho, yo he estado, yo he visitado, yo he estudiado, yo he comido, yo he bebido, yo he, ellos han eh, es, estado aquí. So, es esa forma. ¿Verdad? Eso es el, eso se conoce como present perfect. Okay, okay. ¿Verdad? Y ese es el uso ahí del have. El have aquí ya no, no significa tener, como les he dicho, sino el haber. El haber. Okay. El auxiliar haber. Ok, y, y la clave sí es conocerse los, los past participles. Past mm, participles sí, que, de los verbos. Que, más que todo cuando cambian los tres, siento que son más complicados. Sí. Uh -huh. Usualmente los verbos irregulares así es. La mayoría de los verbos irregulares así es. Hay unos videos en YouTube bien eh, que sirven, sirven porque están con un, un ritmo como de como de rap, algo así. Y entonces se va grabando. Hay varios videos así en, en YouTube. Yo 
donde te dan el, el presente, el pasado y el pasado participio. Ah, ok, lo voy a buscar. Puedes buscarlos Porque... ahí en YouTube. Okay. No, no. Y, y sirven para memorizarlo, sirven. Sobre todo memorizar la pronunciación. Sí, que esa es otra cosa que cuesta también. Cuando es con IT al final. Ah, sí, sí, el, 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 los verbos regulares, ¿verdad? Como les decía, pues, si se equivocan un poco entre la forma correcta, es más válido que usar el ed, ¿verdad? Decirlo ed, sí, sí, es, es, es totalmente incorrecto. ¿Verdad? Ahora, uh, vamos a ver. bueno, es básicamente este es el, el, el present perfect. Ah, este, este tiempo es uno, un tiempo muy bonito, ¿verdad? Hay muchas otras formas. Por ejemplo, cuando tú, cuando tú ah, usas y quieres decir cuándo comenzó algo, ¿no? Eh, por ejemplo, para decir, yo he vivido en Lourdes por... 20 años. Es present perfect. O yo he vivido en Lourdes desde el, el año 2000. Entonces, ese. Sería desde como. I have, I have lived. Ajá. En Lourdes for Ajá. three years. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Oh, I have Pero lived. si ya le, ya le pongo. En un año específico ya no sería ese, uh, mm, Si tú me dices, ¿desde cuándo comenzó esa actividad? Sí. Yo he vivido en Lourdes. I have lived in Lourdes since 20, uh, no, since 2001. Yo he vivido en Lourdes desde el 2001. Okay. ¿Verdad? Porque ves que es una acción que está en el pasado, pero que sigue todavía hoy en el presente, en alguna manera sigue todavía, ¿no? Todavía vivo aquí. Uh -huh. Sigue vive. Uh -huh. okay. Pero te lo estoy relacionando con el pasado, desde cuando yo vivo acá. ¿Verdad? Entonces es, es muy bonito. Y hay mucho que, muchas cosas que hay que, que aprender de esto. Poco a poco, yo creo que tal vez en otros módulos se profundiza un poco más. Y porque no es el único modo que se llama modo perfecto. Hay present perfect, hay past perfect, hay present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous. Son varias. Sí. Poco a poco los vamos a, los vamos a ir viendo. Ok. Thank you very much, Linda, for staying. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Have a good night. It, it, it was my only question. <laughs> okay, perfect. No problem. You see, 10 minutes fly. Okay. See you tomorrow, Thank you, okay? Teacher. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.